I'm Trixie Mattel, the one and only skinny legend. Well, Mary, here's the tea. I'm expanding my business empire. My partner, David and I, bought a motel we found on the internet in Palm Springs, California. Before we knew it, we were in Palm Springs purchasing the damn thing. We laid down a cool two million and we're pumping in another 500,000 to put this motel in drag. And it's not just for TV, it's real. Seven rooms, seven themes, but 100% Trixie Mattel. Some things that are artificial are actually very beautiful. Now here's the real tea. We have only four months to complete this project before our grand opening at Pride and I embark on another international tour. It's a tall order, so I've hired a designer that gets my vibe. This project is my dream project. And the best Palm Springs project manager. Have you ever walked into a room to have this many men working for you at one time? It happens to me all the time. Along with some free labor from some of my besties. Tracy called and said, I need a favor. So what else is new, bitch? By the time we are done, Mary, it is about to be the gaggiest, most iconic motel that has ever existed. And no two rooms will be alike. And where in the world could we pull this stunt off? Girl, where do you think? Wow. This is your motel's new home, girl. Hi, gays. Hello, gays. Hello, grays. Oh, hi. I'm the queen of the world! Yay! I'm the assistant of the world! <laughs> Yay! I can't wait to see the motel. Gag, bitch! Okay! Okay! You know when you buy something off the internet and then by the time it arrives, it's not really what you expected? <sighs> okay. This is that moment. This place looks like a deflating balloon sounds. David is the one who signed for this package in person, so he must see something here that I don't. Hello! Oh my god, hello! David. Welcome to the Trixie Motel. You must be the mysterious new owner. That's me. You are in a suicide cult now. Welcome really? to the stage, caftan moment. Drink in hand. Drink in hand, keys in hand, it's ours. Cute little pink flamingo. Is this the part where you tell me that those are the keys to a much nicer motel that we don't have to like totally redo? Um, no, this is it. I know it's been sitting here for a minute, so there's that. What does the inside look like? Um, it doesn't look great. Lots of browns, lots of beiges. The color palette's not working, but the outside, the pink, we love. I like the pink. And then inside, we gotta put this place in drag. Should we look around? Well, I looked a couple hours ago, too, so we can do this. Come on in. Is this the part where you tell me all the people who died here? This will be the lobby of the Trixie Motel. When? In five years. We have four months and about half a million dollars. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fabulous. We just, um... David. Listen, it's not great. Two questions. Are we insured, and do you have a match? No, no, it's not that bad. It's, I want to be gagging, and I'm not gagging. I don't even have a tickle in my throat. I'm supposed to be like, look at this, I stunted on all of you, and we're not stunting at the Texas Roadhouse. David, what have we done? It's going to be fine. We have an experienced project manager. We have a talented designer. Now we just need to manage someone's frivolous spending. My frivolous spending? I'm very in control of my coin purse. Thank you. I mean, look at this. Rich. All right, here's room number one. Okay. This is one of our three suites with kitchenettes. I think we should start here. We gotta start somewhere. Listen, it's got good bones. Yeah, it's 70 years old. So all things considered, not in bad shape, right? So like, we've done inspection, like structurally all that, it's fine? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. It's just like, I wanted it to be like, oh, the, the toenail just needs to be repainted. This toenail's broken off. It needs to be rebuilt and then painted. 
I think it has potential. We got the ceilings, beautiful, paint them, brighten this place up. It's not old, it's vintage. I love that. Yeah, it's not old, it's vintage. Listen, let's uh, take a look at the smaller size room. Yes, less problems in a smaller room. Mary, I'd love to tell you that this tour got better, but it did not. David gave me a lay of the land, and I've spared you a lot of bad carpet. It looks like taco meat. It looks like a Muppet with worms scooted its little ass across the floor. <laughs> but here's the skinny, and I know skinny. There are seven rooms total, three standard rooms, three suites with kitchenettes, and one deluxe room. I've got big plans for her. That's not all. We've also got our common areas, a big old lobby and a bar, a check-in area, and we'll also need to update a 3,500 square foot outdoor area with plenty of landscaping and a pool. We're talking full reconstructive surgery. Would I say that I'm overwhelmed? No. Would I say that I'm disgusted, horrified, and I just want to take a match to the place? Yes. But I knew today was going to be a lot, so I asked a dear friend to come meet me. She has loads of experience in the hospitality industry, and I'm hoping for some words of encouragement. Look at that pink beauty. Now, where's the other pink beauty? Trixie? People might think, well, Lisa Vanderbilt, why is she here? What the hell is she doing at Trixie Motel? Trixie! I have renovated many, many, many houses, and I've owned over 35 restaurants. And I have also, strangely enough, owned a hotel. This has to be the right place. I hope it's not, but I think it is. Hi, Lisa! <gasps> you never disappoint. The body, can you believe? Oh. I have never seen you in a swimsuit. I've been on a juice fast. Tell me about this place. Well, I bought this on the internet, Dave and I bought this. What do you mean on the internet? I hadn't seen it in person until now. Honey, I know you do a lot of things on the internet, but I didn't think this was one of them. <laughs> well, I mean, right now, it looks like a little bit of a hot mess. I'm glad you're here because I think I need um, a little bit of assurance in that. Have you done anything to it? We haven't really done anything to it. I mean, we're just kind of walking through, seeing the lay of the land. As How much was it? Uh, $1.9 million. So you just laid out $1.9 million <laughs> on the internet? Well, David said it would look pretty good, and I trust him. Obviously, he has great taste. Have you worked together before, you guys? We've never gone in this deep on something together. Sure, you've gone <laughs> deep before. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, everything you do is very aesthetic, but perfection doesn't happen in a day. How long have you got? So the budget is $500,000, and we have about four months. Have you got a contractor? Of course I have a contractor, and to be fair, he thinks that this timeline and budget is a little tight as well. But I have to open this motel before we kick things off for pride. In my honest experience and opinion, I'm going to say normally you have to double the time and double the money. Does it need uh, new electrics? Does it need air conditioning? It needs a little bit of work. It's the roof, it's the air conditioning, it's this entire terrace. Oh, it's also the pool. She might need a trip to the doctor, a little nip tug, little cinch. A little facelift? I realize there's a lot, but I think there's some magic here. I hope you haven't bitten off more than you can chew. I've had a lot in my mouth, and I've always managed. You want to see the motel? Of course. Okay. That's why I'm here. How do you feel about the color brown? I hate it. Great. Great. <laughs> this is going to be great. 